2010 was an award-winning year for Winchester News Online, and what better way to reflect than to see what was making the headlines over the past few months. We start back in May with the general election. May 2010 was a huge month for all of us here at Winnell, as we produced the most ambitious student broadcast ever, with cameras all over the country broadcasting live in Winchester. The project brought the team much critical acclaim, including ITN senior political correspondent Chris Shipp, who had this to say about the team. I thought that general election coverage was remarkably uh, ambitious for a, a student set up for having to do multiple live uh, broadcasts. I thought it was pretty amazing. The, the, the product that you produced, yes of course it wasn't on the scale of what, what the BBC or uh, ITV put out that night, but then you don't have the budget of many millions of pounds uh, that those respective organisations spent on their programmes. I thought it was it was pretty slick, it looked like you were uh, across all the stories, uh, you were ahead of your game on that one and um, I, was, I was really impressed with what you managed to achieve, you know, using cutting edge technology. The next broadcast wasn't until October when the Conservative Conference stole the headlines in Birmingham. Winnell, of course, were there with new Winchester MP Steve Secretary, Bryan. Liberal Democrats are in government with us. Uh, and they're, they're no longer on the sidelines as a third party. The victim of a bottle attack found closure following a verdict at the Crown Court. Winnell had the exclusive interview. It felt like somebody had put their, their thumbs in my ear to block my ear holes, and then there was a ringing at the same time. And I was just like, what, what was that? And the university rugby team were making the headlines for all the wrong reasons following a religious dress up. It, let's um, forgive and forget. I don't think that's the answer either. November's headlines were of course dominated by the student protest in London, following the imminent rise in tuition fees. Winnell had every second covered from Winchester to Millbank, including exclusive interviews with Ministers Chris Hune and John Denham. It's the wrong way to do it. There shouldn't have been such deep, deep cuts, and then you wouldn't have had to have fees so high. And Winchester City's winning run was ended by this wonder goal. And finally, December and Winchester City Council announced the victims of their postcuts. And of course, Winnell broke the news. And Buzzcocks captain Phil Jupiter came to Winchester. Winnell got the exclusive interview. I like coming around to bookshops, and it's certainly given me pause for thought. In